So if you are thinking about moving to Henderson, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas, you're probably wondering, is it the best place? Is it the best alternative to living directly in Las Vegas? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about all through this video, so let's go. Hey everybody, it's your host Dave Baker here with VegasAgents.com. Now, don't forget to tap that little subscribe button and to click that little bell so you hear about all my new videos as soon as they come out. Now, if you are thinking about moving to Las Vegas, Nevada, or right here in Henderson, Nevada, what some people might call Las Vegas' number one suburb, then you have got to reach out to us, okay? Send us an email, send me a text message, give me a call 24-7 because we've got your back with your move to Henderson, Nevada or anywhere in Las Vegas or Boulder City. Our team has a passion for helping people move here because we love it here. All right, so let's dive right in now and start talking about some of the many reasons people love Henderson, Nevada. This time for this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the district in Henderson in the Green Valley neighborhood, which is a pretty cool shopping center with a little bit of a city feel to it. You're walking around and you have stores surrounding you. I'm sure you're gonna see a bunch of them as we walk around. So why do so many people ask about Henderson, Nevada? Well, let's just talk about some of the key reasons that come up right away. All right, first of all, you have to talk about the safety. So Henderson is and has been rated one of America's safest cities. And that's a major plus pretty much across the board. That often falls on the top of the pros columns for a lot of people. When you're weighing your pros and your cons, you've got to put safety up there on top. And a lot of people do bring that up no matter where they're looking to move because you, you want to feel safe, right? Just seems logical. Okay, now let's talk about another reason people love Henderson, Nevada. And I think that is, it's a family friendly place. Henderson has some pretty highly rated schools it's got a lot of activities for the kids. You've got community events that go on here. You have things, of course, like a farmer's market, but you have more than that. You have some, you know, 4th of July type events. You have events that go on on other big holidays. And on top of that, there are activities for kids to do uh, in Henderson. Things that you can take them to see that you can't necessarily um, do in other places. For example, there's a BMX park here. So if your kids like to ride their bike in the dirt off-road and do some practice, you can do that. There's also an opportunity for, you know, practicing some skateboarding and things like that. And I think it's really cool to have a defined area for things like that. So that, you know, when your kids are riding their bike, you probably want them to be safe and you don't necessarily want them to be sitting on the street riding their bikes. So having that BMX park is really cool. So since we're talking about that, let's talk about the next reason. And that is all of the available outdoor space. So outdoor space is becoming a much bigger deal than before. And I think that's because people are spending a lot more time at home, right? So what's happening is you want to be able to have outdoor space very close by so that you'll be able to go do something that you enjoy. So Henderson boasts over 80 parks. Did you catch that? 80, I gotta stop for a second. I mean, that's a lot of parks. Now not every park is some massive place where you can go do something. Sometimes you just have a picnic or something like that, right? But here's the thing, it gives you a ton of places to walk around. I also wanna just mention the trails and the hiking trails and the outdoor area where you can go. There are a ton of hiking trails. If you're into outdoor activities, send us an email and I can send you a link uh, to our website where we've mentioned some of the specific trails and I think we have some maps available too. So when you look at the maps, you're gonna just be like, wow, look at all these maps, look at all the things you can do here. It's, it's pretty impressive. And you know, I'll tell you something. I lived in Las Vegas for a long time before I appreciated the outdoors. So here's the thing. I'm gonna, let's jump right in. We're, we're gonna call this another reason people are actually moving here and that's the weather. Now, if you've watched a lot of my Las Vegas videos, you know that I talk about the weather often in a negative way. But what am I talking about? I'm almost always talking about the summer. But it's summer right now and I'm outside 
I'm wearing two shirts. And you know what? It's not that bad. You know, I've talked about it so much that I've come to realize after talking to people who are moving here that a lot of them are moving here for the weather. They want continuously even weather. So let me rephrase that. Let's talk about the weather. Okay. In Henderson, Las Vegas, I'm sorry, in Henderson, Nevada, which is next to Las Vegas, Nevada, of course, you have hot weather in the summer, right? It gets over 100 many times, but you kind of get used to it. Now, if you've been watching my other videos, you know that I talk about the other three amazing seasons. And what I love is that during the other three seasons, you're not burdened by heavy rain and you're not burdened by snow. So when people talk to me from other states like Ohio, for example, they're talking to me about the snow. I'm like, I want to move from Ohio to Vegas. I don't want to deal with the snow. I was talking to someone in Minnesota, uh, someone in Wisconsin, and even some friends of mine, and they're just talking about the snow. Like, like to me, it was like the end of the world, the way they were talking about the snow. You can't do anything. Well, that's not something you really have here in Las Vegas, right? It's not exactly a snowy place. Now, don't worry. There is Mount Charleston if you need to see the snow, and it's only 45 minutes away. Uh, I went there this winter. I played in the snow. It was pretty cool, and it was convenient. You know I love that convenience. But the weather here lets you enjoy year-round outdoor activities, pretty much. Now, I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to go hiking, for example, somewhere in 115 degree weather. That's ridiculous. But you can get up early, or you can go in the evening, the early evening, if you will. But, you know, if you just want to take your bicycle out, for example, well, there's a ton of opportunity for that, right? There are a lot of places you can take your bike out. You can really just go enjoy things. And it's year round. I, I, if you're watching right now from the East Coast and you're thinking of moving from the East Coast to Las Vegas, I have to tell you, I just didn't realize the difference because I've always been a West Coast person. So, yeah, it, it's pretty interesting to me. For example, I was telling some people that I know that I was going to ride my motorcycle. Uh, or I think it was a scooter at the time. And someone said, well, what do you mean you're going to go riding? It's February. And I said, oh, well, why couldn't you go riding in February? And, and they're telling me, oh, no, no, we, we can't use things like that in February. There's just no way. It's snowing outside. And it, 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 just, it just hit me that you can't do things all year round the same way. That even applies if you're coming from the north, not just the east coast. If you're coming from Seattle to Las Vegas, say moving from Portland to Las Vegas, well, yeah, it's, it's really interesting because you've got the rainy season and you just don't have that here. So, yeah, you know what? We need to put the weather in the plus column. You know, again, you're always probably making pros and cons lists when you're thinking of moving somewhere, right? Well, let's just keep, let's keep the weather in the pros column now. And I've made a big switch on that since I lived here. Now, you know, after 10 years, uh, you know, in my case, I, I had been coming to Las Vegas for many years before I actually lived here. And I'd come in the summer and I guess I didn't think much of it. So if, if you are concerned though, like for example, if you want to get a swimming pool, just let us know when you reach out, say, hey, I really want to make sure I get a house with a pool. And that's something that uh, will also be available. So I hope that gives you some insights into Henderson. One more thing I do want to mention though is the shopping. There's a ton of shopping, all the shopping centers you're gonna need, all the food you're gonna need, all the cafes you're gonna need. Everything is right here in Henderson. So if you're thinking of moving here, don't worry, you're not gonna have to drive far to get anything. Now, just in the process of making this video, I was just thinking, I wish I could share with you all the smells, the beautiful, delicious food that is coming through at this shopping center right now. And again, this is the district. Behind me, you've got some offices. On the other side, you have Green Valley Ranch Resort and Casino. It's a local's place. And hopefully, as I've been walking, you got to see some of the amazing food. Right now, I can smell the barbecue at Lucille's. Wow, you know, it's a good thing it's almost time for me to get a snack because uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty much uh, ready to uh, head over there. All right, everybody. Now remember, if you're thinking about moving to Henderson, Nevada, or Las Vegas, Nevada, or you want to move to Summerlin, you've got to reach out to us. That is what our team is here for. That's what we do. We are all about helping people come out to Vegas because we love it. So what are you going to do? Send me an email, send me a text message, give us a call 24 seven. Okay. We're here for you. We can't wait to help you. And I personally cannot wait to see you in the next video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a little 
thumbs up, you tap that little subscribe button, and you click that little bell. All right, everybody, until the next video, take care. This is Dave, once again, from VegasAgents.com.